Hi, this is Mary Beckett from Alpac Elementary, and I have a couple simple ways for you to hold a Google meeting with your classroom, do a presentation, but still be able to see their faces without getting the feedback interference that I was getting when I tried to do that with my desktop. I have a cord that I got probably from Amazon. It has HDMI on one end and USB-C on the other. The HDMI goes into my second monitor of my desktop. I have a dual monitor system on my desktop. So I just unplug one of the HDMIs for one of the monitors and plug this into the, that monitor and I plug this into my Chromebook. I log in to my Google Meeting and I make two tabs that have my Google Meeting on them. I drag one of the tabs over to the second monitor so it's a, like a split screen and then I join both yes but then I unplug my Chromebook while I get everything set up for the meeting after people are logged in after I start a presentation then I plug this end in once everything is up and running and I can see the presentation here and my students on the other monitor now, it does give you a little bit of drag to the, our Chromebooks just don't have enough uh, to uh, really do a crisp job of it, but it's a quick way to, to do that if you need to. The other way I found that worked, um, that works, but I had to kind of tweak this one too, is I have an old iPad, and my husband used to say it's new, but I say it's an old one, uh, and I logged into, this is the Google Meeting I actually have running from this Chromebook right now, and I have logged into it on my Chromebook, and I can see, um, this is my husband's computer that's logged into it right now, and this is me logged into it, and I can see, if I presented from this Chromebook, I would be able to see my students' faces on this Chromebook the whole time and I just have it sitting next to me. Now, I did get a feedback loop from my iPad, so I just stuck in an auxiliary um, jack. Just It's a headphone extension. It's not even an actual headphone. There's nothing on the other end, but I wasn't able to mute my iPad until I did that and then the feedback stopped. So there they are. Two quick and easy tips to see your students at the same time you're doing a presentation in Google Meeting. I hope that helps.